assuming not all of you know Cisco, but for those who don't, uh, Cisco is, did a fair amount of um, yeah, the backbone of we call today the internet as well of modern internet for tomorrow. Uh, Cisco started the company 30 years ago by uh, connecting non-compatible and proprietary networks in a uh, federated concept. And that's where we still live into uh, a journey become creating secure connections to uh, to unconnect the connect the unconnected basically towards the Internet of Things these days. Um, today, our mission statement from Cisco is to power an inclusive future for all. And by um, this Cisco organization organized a specific unique corporate program. It's called CDA, Country Digitization Acceleration. And so this, this group, this program uh, invests in the line of the digital agenda of a country. Um, today we see, the, uh, we're working together with governments, agencies, uh, education, as well as private sector, uh, corporates, enterprises around the globe. And we're covering a 60% um, a of world population as well and making an impact of 75% of our GDP. And uh, this program, uh, I'm proud that I can, uh, can lead this for uh, the Netherlands. I'm Hein Deggers, leading this uh, CDA program, which is in the Netherlands DVN for good reasons. Uh, Digital Excel in Nederland, uh, where this program uh, leads towards uh, uh, making an impact, uh, not only on the, yeah, the Dutch agenda, but as well making sure that we are living towards this inclusive future, digital inclusive future. And um, 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 yeah, so we, we do this now for the second round uh, where uh, CDA 2.0 has been started um, a month or three ago. Uh, the first program was five years ago started. Um, I was part of that business, that journey as well, to make Netherlands one of those countries where Cisco invests. Um, uh, we are proud with the results of the first uh, successes and now as well towards uh, the next level on this. Um, I will give a few examples in a minute, uh, but first, uh, our great presentations today and also the fundament of our principles uh, um, are there, uh, been mentioned many times. We think that knowledge is the foundation to create trust in digitization. And uh, we make sure that we are making the Netherlands more resilient to what cyber threats to as well provide so social, social support for digitalization in the future. We're doing this with strategic partnerships, uh, not only with um, specific um, um, uh, line of direction Cisco should do, but more how the country is revealing their uh, digital agenda. And to see cybersecurity, for example, um, we have worked with the Dutch government on uh, uh, projects to, to make an impact on uh, cyber, uh, cyber crime, uh, like um, abuses, et cetera, with our partners to make sure that we are providing AI technology uh, going through all of these different data through the internet to make um, an impact on uh, not, not serving that from a Dutch perspective. So that's something which we're working with the ALKM in the Netherlands. Uh, we also invested in um, uh, uh, QTech, uh, quantum, uh, quantum network secure, quantum secure networking technology uh, to create the network of the future. We see that security is not something we can do as an afterthought. It's in uh, from the beginning to the end, it's in every design. It starts with security basically to make sure we protect society for uh, for um, uh, yeah impacted and as well uh, lack of social support in the future um, we think that we are not able to allow ourselves or to uh, 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 we, we we need to have this in everybody's ears to 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 be take their responsibility to secure um front and center because we we spoke with the ministers uh, for social affairs uh, a month ago on the program we are having uh, on education uh, and the uh, uh, great uh, presentation from Ron also artic articulate how we could use that during um, um, the COVID period. We are agile, we have a great infrastructure in the Netherlands. We do see um, how the Netherlands has responded towards all this, uh, this crisis and as well how they are dynamically are to, uh, to convert and uh, make sure that they are limiting the impact of society. Um, and we also believe that the hybrid uh, education will prevail. Um, we actually had a great uh, success story towards the ABC countries, like islands in, from the Netherlands, 
to uh, to share uh, um, capacity in the Netherlands towards those islands from a student's for a teacher's perspective. We created a video bridge to make sure that the education can be held here to extend the capacity there and making sure that we are um, able to, to not leave anyone behind. Um, we need to make sure that uh, uh, this access uh, of one end, whether the, this, this, this uh, sessions uh, were going on, uh, needs to be improved and needs to be, uh, let's say, increased, invested in it. Uh, but more importantly is to also look at the education level, the data literacy we see in, in society these days. Cisco's Netacad program uh, is a CSR program where we're providing 10,000 students a year, not only to educate them in technical skills to have a nice job in, in IT, which we, we need very hard in this industry, but as well make sure that we are leaving the gap, we minimize the gap, what companies in the Netherlands are, uh, are looking for. Next to that, we are providing this education program towards the UAV, social um, ministry in the Netherlands, to, uh, to, to make the gap, uh, to close the gap on, uh, uh, for those people who, who would like to go from sector to sector, to increase the number of people with digital skills in the Netherlands. And that's something we provide from a CSR perspective, but we also foresee that tech industry uh, on its whole uh, needs definitely uh, help us with that. Uh, we think that we can do this together and we're providing the education programs as well, the scalability of this towards the organizations in the Netherlands who are there equipped best. Um, with that, I would like to, to say as well, a few more examples which we, we took on the early days of CDA or DDN 1.0 five years ago, also close to the topic of the of the conference photonics in a minute. But to say as well on uh, the presentation from Philips early, the medic medic bus medical bus is definitely also a project um, Cisco uh, investors in as well in other in India and other countries to uh, to make this mobility work. We believe to not only invest in the um, thought leadership or let's say education but also make sure that smaller projects come to life to show the world how we can do this and with that i would like to provide a example on uh, uh, a project we, we did um, earlier in uh, 2016 2017 basically what we what we did is reusing the capacity of the infrastructure alongside the dutch roads which basically also using fiber optical infrastructure to connect the signage boards, systems around the, the, the roads, the, let's say, slippery road conditions, as well the signing systems above the road, detection loops inside the road. And what we, what we learned is that those detection loops are not as accurate as you would like to have them, as well the visibility of traffic jams were uh, not as accurate. Currently, we are in COVID period, and of course, traffic jams started to become realization again. Uh, but in 2016, 2017, there was a daily daily issue. And I think this will come again uh, shortly. Uh, what we saw happening there is that we reused the fiber infrastructure alongside the road. And we basically put in the light, uh, the fiber optical light, not as a data transmission. Of course it does, but we also use it as a sensor. We capturing the reflection of the light and we're using AI capacity to calculate the vibration into, into information. And then information was about the, a pattern from vehicles on, let's say, the tires on the road, where we could detect the, the speed as well the direction vehicles were moving. We work with different uh, institutes in the Netherlands and out, in the, out of the Netherlands to, uh, to make this algorithm better and also make, make it usable for uh, road authorities. And in this case, we had uh, a 10 times more accurate information set and we had a string of information rather than specific detection loops. Um, this data has been influxed into uh, the road operations as well into uh, navigation systems of the future. And what we see there is that this information is not only uh, uh, used for uh, uh, measurement as well uh, for governance uh, of road information be, be used in vehicle rather than GPS data, which can be influxed by many other partners. So we did a test with TNO to, uh, to offset the detection loops to with the floating car data, basically GPS calculated data and the uh, fiber acoustic measurement basically as a dust system alongside the road where the initial fiber is already used for 
uh, data communication. That's a project which has been closed uh, one, two years ago and is currently up for development. Another example of this is the uh, acoustic measurement of uh, weather conditions with the Dutch Ministry of uh, Weather Institute, where we not only could detect, uh, of course, heavy rainfall, uh, but also uh, providing this as an input towards their algorithms and calculations to have a better prediction for the future. Um, so this was one of the examples we are used for uh, uh, the Netherlands. And uh, what we do see, there are more many projects upcoming. Uh, last week we announced the uh, vibration uh, in fiber and the sea cables in the uh, through the oceans to to measure the um, um, the, uh, the vibrations on the ground. Uh, so uh, that, that's something uh, we, which we would like to, uh, to, to have more accurate so that the, net, the network inside the ocean can also be used as information rather than only data transmission. Um, so those investments are for us uh, crucial and also uh, capable uh, to, uh, to make a difference to society in the Netherlands. Um, with that, I would like to, to thank everybody and uh, open up the question, the floor for questions.